guess what today is? Garden day. So we've always done the old fashioned tilling in garden, but last year we kind of started a little bit on the no till and this year we're gonna finish that up. So we already have our berms kind of built up from previous years. So what we're gonna do is add compost about four to six inches just on the rows. So we'll have three main rows and then we'll have hills over here for squash and cucumber, I mean squash and zucchini and cantaloupe. Now between the rows, which is where you have to do a lot of tilling and a lot of maintenance, we're gonna smother with leaves. So that keeps the weeds down, plus it kind of breaks down into the garden, so it'll kind of help it, and that's a whole lot less maintenance. So I have here what we're gonna plant. We're gonna have the tomatoes and the cherry tomatoes that our grandkids love, then the row of bell peppers and jalapenos, and then the cucumbers and purple whole peas will be on one row because they all go on the trellis. And then three hills with squash, zucchini, and cantaloupe. And I always plant marigolds. Some people say they're beneficial. Some people say they're not. But my grandma always planted, planted marigolds and she had yard of the year so many times that they asked her to quit participating. So I'm sticking to the tried and true. Okay, so I always like to mention what tools you'll need. This is my favorite to unload dirt. It's just a snow shovel. You can get the metal ones, they work really well. I prefer purple. Then I'm gonna use the rake and the mulch fork to scoop up my leaves for my path and I'll just get them out of the woods out there and put them in a wheelbarrow and dump them. Um, this is a garden rake, which is really helpful to knock down any weeds or kind of pull your dirt into the rows like you want it. We got our handy dandy shovel for big stuff. And little digger for little stuff. All right, let's get started. Okay, this is the soil that we're gonna use. It's just compost. It, this is a yard and a half. We got it at our local nursery for $52.50. So you can't beat that. It's got some stuff broke down in there, which is, I mean, it is just pure black gold. It's been heat treated, so it won't have any weed seeds or anything in there. They're already dormant. And this is what we're going to use to make our rows with. It's sterilized, ready to plant. So now we're starting to unload the compost onto the rows and get those built up. We've already got the heels unloaded, so we'll spread them out and even them up some. Woo, this is starting to feel like work. And now that he's at the end of the rows, I'm going to finish hauling the leaves for the walkways. And these rows aren't crooked, that's just where the leaves have like overflowed onto the 
dirt, but the rows are straight. <laughs> Now you'll want to pull the soil off the sides and even the tops and keep them smooth for your planting. And where the leaves are in the trenches, that's where I'll lay my hose and just let it kind of roll and saturate in there and the sides the actual planting rows will absorb all that water without it getting the plants all wet. Perfect. He's just evening them up and smoothing them off. So join us in part two and we'll start planting and adding straw and a few more tips.